stream is active, ready, going live in three, two, one. There we go. It says I'm live now. So I just got the notification. Uh, Streamlabs? Yeah. There's Joe driving. So we. Oh, hey, Rock G, Farmer Austin, Peanuts Gallery. We got Ghost Findings TV, Smurfalicious. Hey, hey. When's this stream going to be? Uh, the stream is going on right now. We are driving to location. Kyoko Rock Fams. Wow, lots of people joining us. Thank you so much, guys. We will be going live on Presence of the Unknown. I kind of just wanted to give you guys a heads up. The link is in the description. Please go to uh, please go subscribe to Presence of the Unknown. We will be doing a live investigation. Actually, two of them, if we can. Hey, Ghost Findings TV. Or sorry, Ghost Finders 321. What's up? Was just doing a marathon, watching all of your videos on presents. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. So we are driving up through uh, to up Highway 101 in California up to Paso. So that's the highway we take. To As you guys can see, it is extremely dry out here. I know I'm double dipping today. I'm sorry. But I hope you guys are enjoying. How is this stream going? Because I'm streaming this on Streamlabs OBS on my phone. So good to see everybody, guys. So we are going to the San Miguel Mission right now. I hate now. stupid drivers. <laughs> Anybody that gets on a on-ramp doing 20 miles per hour should people not have are driving a license. 80 miles per hour on the freeway are idiots. <laughs> Uh, yeah, seriously. Hey, Beth driver. Simmons, how's it going? Is the stream going good, everybody? Can everybody hear me loud and clear? So, yeah, I think they acknowledged the uh, driving joke. So that's pretty cool that this is all coming up. Oh, Guys, yeah, if you're wow. new to this channel, please it's go... It's like a video game. I like one of those race cars. I know. I see you, John. <laughs> please go consider subscribing to my channel. Your name will be brought up in bright lights on screen. That's how I got this all set up. Hey, Virginia Fisherman. Just How's it going? Hear you in the stream is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I can't see. It's very rocky. I'm holding this with my hand right now, trying to control <laughs> this while we're going over these That's bumps. That's why you need a gimbal. I know, dude. Uh, gimbal? Yes, loud and clear. Ghost, Ghost Riders oh. just subscribed to your channel. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, go check out Presence of the Unknown. If you can't find it, it's on my preferred list. And I have a entire uh, playlist about Presence of the Unknown. Actually, I have three of them. Uh, guys, go check that out, please. Is the stream working pretty good? Is it pretty clear like and on not her, laggy? On her phone, it looks good. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, awesome, guys. Awesome picture quality, Joe, John. Sweet. Yeah, this is streaming on my iPhone 10. I am uh, on OBS. They now have an app for it, which is really cool. Yeah, you gotta show me. You're gonna be my instructor. <laughs> <laughs> it already presets all of your stuff on screen for you, which is pretty oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. It's probably better just to stream on your phone than it is the computer. I know, seriously. 15 people watching right now. Guys, make sure you tweet this out, share it out. Guys, please go check out Presence of the Unknown. We will be doing the live investigation from Joe's channel uh, and Joe's and I's channel, Presence of the Unknown. Go check that out. Cynthia here is our other investigator and Joe's girlfriend. She's awesome. She does a lot of the research work for Presence of the Unknown, and we are so blessed to have her on the team. Joe is the founder, and he is awesome. He makes awesome videos, and he is one hell of an editor. And then you have me. <laughs> the awesome, caring, loving. Be in the direction of the driver. Spirit. The one that gets those evil spirits out. Yes. 
I'm, I'm just the one the who does all the praying and all the editing and a lot of the cussing. Let's pray now. <laughs> <laughs> like the one, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm like, hey, guys, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> he says, what the fuck was well, that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm all, what the hell was that? Yeah, every What's time you hear that, it's like me. It's like that bird video, remember that parrot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you guys are awesome thanks for all the love and support we almost got 20 people in the house right now guys please go check out uh we are going to the mission where there was a family they were massacred by british pirates and their their souls still haunt this place and so we're gonna go check it they're actually the entire Reed family is buried at the San Miguel Mission. So we're going to go check that out. Oh my god. Look at that creepy play. Oh, it's sure. a cop right there. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, look so, at that creepy house right there. You see that? Yeah, you guys can see the popo. Oh, what is that? Wow, guys. I wish you guys could see that. Oh, I can't can zoom in in here. But that oh place looks god. creepy. Yeah, yeah. Go in there. Hell yeah, I love pirates. Hell yeah. There we go. Nightbot just posted that comment. Thank you guys so, so much. Oh, wow. It's even in a cool text on your phone. Yeah. Huh. This is the iPhone 9 Plus. Like 9. Oh, nice. That's your iPhone? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, my iPhone. The 9. The 9. The Galaxy, I'm sorry. Oh, I say yeah, 9. I was I mean, the, the Galaxy. See, that's the new Samsung that we got. Oh, she has gotcha. one and I have one. Oh, okay. Oh, man, that right here. Sorry. Yeah, guys, how's everybody doing today? So glad to see everybody. Look at that ring. Yes. So this is the central coast of California as I'm seeing it. Dry as a bone. Sit on the railroad tracks with their phone. Oh, dude, that was you. Looking down the tracks. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, doing good, sweet. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke like in the upper atmosphere from all the fires, so that's why it's kind of hazy today. <laughs> Northern California and Southern California are completely smoked out. I want to hear. I want to see that house back there. I know that house looks legit. Is that abandoned? Uh, yes. Yeah, that house yeah. looks awesome. It's probably haunted. <laughs> I want to doubt it. Uh, let's see. That looks like a pretty cool. Oh, okay. It's nice. Huh. POTU is in the house. I just What's put that. up? <laughs> I know I saw that. That's why I was saying it. <laughs> Hazy here in North California too. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it sucks. The air quality is awful lately. Where in Northern California are you? Uh, Kyoko Rock Fams. Native <laughs> Grammy. What's up, my friend? Drivers need. depressed feel like people in my town don't have time for me people don't want to talk long oh, i'm sorry to hear that rock g wait what, what's going on uh rock g just has been suffering with depression uh same with her sister Rocky where's, he, where's, he, where's he from they're from michigan oh michigan it's snowing like crazy i heard up there MLAF Kids and Videos, welcome. Yeah, I'm double dipping, but I'm just doing this as like a test to see how it's working. Uh, we are going to be going live at, uh, for Presence of the Unknown when we get to the location. We're still quite a little bit away from San Miguel. Um, it's the next town up from this town that we're coming into right now. So I would say, what, 15, 20 minutes? No, not before that. 10? Probably 10. Okay. Guys, so we'll I'll like I'll end it when we like arrive there, and I'll kind of show you what it looks like, and then we can switch over to presence of the unknown when we get to location. We're gonna actually go inside, check there out the cemetery. Oh, we're in San Miguel. I thought we were in Paso. Okay, so I guess we're arriving in San Miguel. Okay. Yeah, we get Oh no, you can't. There's another one at the mission now. You should get. We should, pull over and get the front of the, uh, the uh, 
Yeah, we'll pull over, check that out. What was that? The car is oh, telling him he's in the lane. Yeah, this thing is. Dude, it, it, this thing drives. will drive by itself. It drives. What? Yeah, this it, car will drive it guides, by itself. It and you. if you go on the white line or yellow line, yeah. it'll tell you. I mean, well, it'll beep. To oh, wow. tell you to move over. And it'll I, automatically I I move the, the car. <laughs> and if you get too close, it stops you. It no like, literally shit. brakes push in. for you. What? Yeah. yeah. That's potentially dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> that must be where the mission is. Look, Mission Street. Yeah, Mission Street. Okay, guys, we're coming into the mission right now. Looks like it's gonna be cold outside. Oh, here it is. Wow. Let's get a picture of that. Look. Okay, guys, we're rolling into the mission area right now. Look how old that if is. you can see ahead of us, there is the old mission bells. This place has some crazy ass EVPs. Okay, I'm gonna try to get like a drive by of that. There we go. That is the old mission uh, bells. Adobe Museum. Wait, historical Adobe? Yeah. Okay, yeah, go okay. down there. Ooh, what is this? Okay, go down there first. Yeah. Maybe we could do the Adobe on my thing yeah, and then we can do the mission. Friday's okay, guys, we just found a historical okay. Adobe house. Four, four, so got okay, we're, we're going to go head down here real quick and check this out. Wait a Did I go the wrong way? We might be going the wrong way. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I think it's right here. Okay, guys, check this out. How do I get a blue wrench? Uh, I'll add you. I have okay. to put the James blue wrench. James is saying you need a blue wrench. Like, okay. I know. Shh. I, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Is this, is I just can't parking? do it on my oh, phone. It is. No, it's, it's right here. Oh, there's a restroom. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Museum. Okay, guys, this is uh, this we've never been to before or didn't even know it existed. So, oh, is this open during the night or no? I don't think no, close at four. Oh, cool. four. they gate it off. Okay, guys, so we are here in San Miguel, California. We are doing a live stream here. This is actually the Adobe. I don't know exactly the name of it until we roll up here. Yeah. This is not that big of a deal. Let's stream this on my phone and then we can switch over to presents when we get to the San Miguel mission. Because we got 22 people in the house right now. Guys, if you haven't already, we're going to switch over to Presence of the Unknown once we check out this place. And you get to see the mission on Presence of the Unknown. So make sure you go check that out. Now you see Cynthia running. Restrooms. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like restrooms. Yeah, so this is not the Adobe for anybody's perspective. No, this yeah, this is it right ahead. So, guys, this is the Adobe right here in front of us there's joe what's going on guys what's kicking we are live hey ray the fam how's it going our homie up in uh fresno we got to drive up there and collab with you and do the fresno flats for sure so guys this is the adobe check that out How cool is that? So there's actually like a little museum and shopping area. Yeah, it's celebration time when you find a restroom for sure. <laughs> hey, Sherry and Ricky's vlogs. What's up guys? Guys, please go support uh, Presence of the Unknown. The link should be in the description. Please go subscribe. We are going to go live on that channel when we place? do the haunted mission. What is this place? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't even see this on the map. Dude, look at that. So guys, check that out. Look how cool that is. Look, there's like a well. 
and then there's another building back there. So I guess this is like a library slash building and there's like stuff in that building. Not sure what's in there. 1830? Oh, 1930. So look at this building, guys. If anybody doesn't know where we are, we are about 30 minute, less than 30 minute drive from the San Andreas Fault. Yeah. Yeah, we're really close to the big earthquake fault. Look how cool this is. What is this? Is this like an old train car? I don't know. That's cool. It's like a steam engine. That is super neato. Okay, guys, we're not even actually at the actual Adobe. That was not it. This is actually the Adobe right here. And here's like an old well. Kind of reminds me of The Ring. Yeah. <laughs> that movie freaked me out. Look at this, guys. That is so cool. The old wagon wheel. Here we go. Cynthia wants to be let out. <laughs> kind of does look like an old jail, doesn't it? Hold on, let me check back there. There's rabbits all over this place. Look how big that cactus is. Okay, so this is the old adobe. That is super cool. Hey, Earthly Wanderings, what's up? Look at that cactus, guys. Woo! All these, like, prickly pear fruit. That's so, so cool. It took me a second to remember what an adobe is. Yeah, it's a uh, type of building and type of material that they use. It usually involved, like, rock, mud, poop, and I can't remember what else. There was, like, they have their own way of making these old adobes. And they're so super cool and you can actually see the adobe material right there so that's super neat are you gonna sign in yeah you want so. autograph presence of the unknown yes <laughs> the presence of the unknown with the sign in yeah the presence of the unknown <laughs> sure. so we're uh signing in here's the railroad here Hope you guys are enjoying this live stream. Kind of do a little pan across. There's Joe and Cynthia signing the paperwork, which I gotta do here in just a minute. And I'll give you like a live feed of me signing a piece of paper. How exciting. I'm doing well, Priscilla. How are you? So we're going, we're checking out this old adobe. I've never been here before, so this is super cool. 18. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, it's going. All right, so I am officially signed in. So, Miss, uh, I'm actually um, we're here YouTubing in this area to do like okay. kind of like a little historical. Um, can you tell anybody about? Uh, can you give us a brief description of what this Adobe was used for? This Adobe was originally the two-story part was mm -hmm. originally built. 
by the man who was sent to oversee the mission when it was secularized in 1834. Oh, wow. This was actually built about 1836 by the Salinan Indians, mm -hmm. the same ones that built the Mission San Miguel on oh, mission wow. land. Wow. The mission had, they claimed all this land. Jeez. Wow. And what uh, mm -hmm. what Indian tribe was that? Salinans. Salinans. Right. Okay. Their home territory is out in Lockwood, San Antonio area, northwest of us. Oh, okay. Cool. In San Antonio Sweet. Mission, um, they also built that one. Sweet. That was the third mission. It's built, it's on Fort Hunter to get now. Okay. And I've heard of that area. Um, is there is there an, another adobe up towards there, or is this like... Mm -hmm. Is there a map of the different adobe buildings that are around here? Or? I don't have a local map here. Okay. I'm sure there are. Um, there are not a lot of adobes left. So many of uh, them just kind of melted. Oh, gotcha. They would take the tiles and use them for other things. As mm. When the missions were secularized, a lot of this happened. Oh, okay. And that's why a lot of the missions were destroyed. Oh, because really? Because they were abandoned. Oh. And if you take the tile off the roof... So there was actually more than 22 right. missions. There's then, 21 missions. Or 21. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, San Miguel is the 16th mission. Okay. So there's 21 missions. So at one point there was more? I don't believe so. Oh, okay. If there were. You were talking adobes. about the adobe buildings that got taken down. You were asking just about adobe buildings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, there used to be adobe buildings all over the place. Yeah. But not anymore. Gotcha. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. And I kind of just wanted to show everybody kind of the look around here. Um, this kind is of good. self-guided tour. Oh, thank you. Yeah, quite a bit of distance that. Awesome. Um, so, so the two-story building was built first, and this building was added. Mm -hmm. And it'll give you that information in there. But it's, okay. it's had various owners and various incarnations over the years. Awesome. The use of this building and these grounds, actually. Very nice. Cool. Well, guys, I hope you got a cool little history lesson there. And what was your name, Miss? My name is Lee. It was a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, guys. So, 1886, the Southern Pacific Railroad arrived in San Miguel, drawing a close to the Catalonia Inn as a tavern, stage top, and hotel. Where? Uh, Catalonia? No. Or this is Cal Caledonia. Caledonia Which is in. a Scottish word for welcome. Ah. And it was named by one of the later owners. Gotcha. So Southern Pacific actually built a beautiful train station in San Miguel. Hmm. And then they bulldozed it in the 1970s. Oh, so it no longer exists. No. Oh. But we are the Caledonia. Awesome. Caledonia yes. Adobe. And um, Colonel Rios of the Mexican Army is the gentleman who actually built the two-story adobe. There's oh, wow. information in their pictures. I'm assuming you're editing all this. <laughs> well, this is actually a live stream. The, and because we're trying some new stuff for our YouTube channel. And we're kind of doing a, a history tour of the Central Coast and going to different locations. So we kind of wanted to hear from the local people. I grew up in, in and out of San Luis Obispo. Okay. And uh, I kind of wanted to explore more of the area around us mm -hmm. since there is so much history here oh it's huge absolutely it really is. absolutely and like we've uh, we've been to the las cruces adobe which is in santa barbara county near oh. san Ynez. Okay. that one's actually right next to the la parisma that's not too far from La Parisma Mission down in Lompoc. Mm -hmm. So we've been to that one. We haven't explored the mission in, in Lompoc yet. That's one of our next things. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just kind of checking San Luis Obispo, Monterey, and uh, nice. trying to create some content, some awesome history stuff for the viewers that got like 1,600... Uh, it's actually a vlog. We do anything from like exploration to paranormal. We do all this other kind of stuff. So the, we were kind of going to go look at the history behind the reasoning of why San Miguel was actually haunted. It's listed in, in multiple sources as a very haunted location. It is. And yeah, we've confirmed it. We've been there and we've gotten some great EVPs and stuff like that. That's great. So we're, uh, we're going to check that out. And a lot of people, some people think uh, the paranormal is taboo and they, they don't this like talking about it. Oh, really? 
And who haunts this place? We don't know. And we just know that they're, they're very friendly. Very friendly? Yes, things will just be out of place. And like, what kind of stuff do you experience as in paranormal? I personally have not experienced any of it, but people have said that things have been put out of place. And actually, there is a book in there that has some information in it that's on the counter. Oh, cool. In the in the other in the other room. Well, how do you like that, guys? That's cool. This place is haunted as well, so we will definitely have to consider. Um, Oh man, I wish we could investigate this place. We have like a full cool. full production team. We can actually do night vision and all that stuff. Um I mean, it, who would be the person we would talk to in order to book. do that? The, the oh, ghost um, book? Is there ac- are those actual sightings and stuff cuz I know it's in the pictures. I was telling you, there is a book in there. There's like some there's kind of some book. orbs and orbs some and stuff. darkness and one of our best I was just looking through it. I was amazed. That's that's amazing. Well, all these old places, you know, there's a lot that went on, and there's still a lot going on. Absolutely. This is. This is yeah. Uh, the channel is Presence of the Unknown. I'm, with, I'm the founder. Yeah, he's yeah. the founder of Presence of the Unknown. Uh, I'm currently live streaming on my vlog channel, which is HSFL Paranormal. Okay. And uh, I'd like to see what they got when I get a chance. Absolutely, oh, yeah, you can. Um, We're gonna do some edited stuff. We're gonna check out the cemetery at San Miguel and do a video there. We actually did uh, the Green Hotel in Shafter. You know about oh, that? No, I don't know um, a lot about Trish this and that Pat place was incredible. They let us do, and they actually they're important people over there. Um, they were really cool. nice of us to. It was really nice of them to let us in there. Mm-hmm. That's and nice. that hotel is um, awesome. unbelievable. We got a picture that we can't debunk no matter how many times. It's on our website. It's on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Presence of the Unknown. Uh, Presence of the Unknown. Of the Unknown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a YouTube channel. That's what I was trying to find out. No, you can go to presenceoftheunknown.com. Nope. So look at this old photo, guys. That's but uh, cool. in the future, I don't know who I can talk to. But that I was drawn love... by, I believe, a local artist. Let me see the signature on it. Steve. Uh, Ernest Morris. Oh, Ernie Morris. Yes, he was a local artist, well known for his drawings of Western art, um, horses, particularly wow. animals. Wow. I mean, look at the detail. Really well known. Wonderful. That is absolutely incredible, guys. Look at so that who detail. Owns this place now? Are you one of the owners? Uh, this county, this is the actually in San Francisco County Park. Okay. And the Friends of the Adobe, when the when the county repaired it and fixed it up, and uh, after a lot of us begging to do that, mm-hmm. uh, the Friends of the Adobe was formed to keep things going. So mm-hmm. we are the gift shop, and we raise money to keep everything going inside. So in order to do like, if they, so I don't know if they would let us, but like to do like a two-hour um, night investigation if somebody's here, how do we go about doing that? I'm start with contacting. Oh, I know. I will unearthly wanderings for sure. Look at this, guys. Look at the old, the old dress, the old piano, some furs. It looks like the old children's desk. So this was a school. Wow, guys. Okay, no problem, Rock G. Sorry, I missed a lot of your guys' messages. But yeah, this is an old, old building. So here's like some lectures, it looks like. Some buildings. It's the old American flag. Hey, Kim Fitzgerald, Rock Fam, how's it going? How are you guys liking this video so far? Give it a thumbs up, smash that like button if you like what you're seeing. There's so much cool stuff here. Look at this, guys. So that's what the they used to wear back in the day. This was like a pub or a bar some kind so that's pretty cool look at this old safe wow 
What do you guys think about that? Okay, awesome. Thank you, James. Appreciate it, buddy. So is there a number that I call or a group of contact? Um, I'm to see Look at this, guys. So glad I get to take you guys on this tour, and then we're going to go live on Presence of the Unknown for part two. Uh, we're going to do the actual San Miguel mission in Cemetery. So please, guys, stay tuned for that. And then we're going to go to down Highway 46 and actually check out. So this is actually the upstairs. Uh, we're going to go down Highway 46 into Cayucas in Cambria and check out some locations there there's an extremely haunted cemetery there as well yeah for sure unearthly uh, look at this they made a little model of this place how cool is that yeah it's a two-story building so here's like a little Room, a little bedroom here, small paintings. So beautiful. So guys, yeah, this place is haunted. Joe is talking to them about possibly doing an investigation here. What do you guys think about that? Ooh, I just got the chills right here. Look at this, guys. So this this place is supposedly haunted. Guys, look at this. This is a mammoth tusk. Look how cool that is. So that was 1 million to 2 million years old. It was six inches in diameter and 57 or 67 inches long. It was discovered here in San Miguel on May of 1969. How cool is that? That's Ice Age. No, yeah, I mean, that animal probably died, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Did you see that? The, the woolly mammoth tusk? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's what she was telling me. So it's is, um... Ooh. Artifacts from the arrow. Oh, wow, There's guys, look at that. Arrowheads. Mm -hmm. They're free to some downstairs if you want to get some, too. Oh, cool. So I can get some for free, supposedly. That's cool. <laughs> I guess they were dead. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> seeing them, right? That's pretty crazy. Look at this, guys. It's like a birth and death certificate log. That's pretty wild. These old blankets, too. I know. Look at that. There's a doll for you, John. Oh, oh my God, guys. <laughs> Look at that doll. It looks like Johnny's little. Oh, it's Mini-Me. <laughs> little John boy. Good night, John boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God, this is creepy. Oh, no, it's not. Dude, you know, this, she said this place is haunted, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're getting there. I'm trying to talk to them right That'd now. That'd be dope. Look how cool that is, guys. All that detail. <laughs> yeah, we have issues with dolls. <laughs> no, just me. <laughs> but look at all these like old books, old shoes. How cool is that, guys? Some, this is lace collars. Hey, Leah, how's it going? Guys, there's still 20 people in the house. Wish you could go out on this deck. That's sweet. Oh, there's a little guy. <laughs> Leah, what's up, fam? So there is Cynthia, and over here, looking at the tooth, is Joe. 
we are about to go switch over here soon. Look how creepy this is. That is a strange looking painting. It looks like Aaron's, um, remember Joe Aaron has his grandfather in Lewis? Yep. Just like that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Sam McGill Like Bridge. a 3D kind of look. <gasps> I found another doll. Oh, look at this, guys. <laughs> wow, that's the I bridge. See, well, did you see the woman in the room? Sam McGill Bridge. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm sure it was just not me seeing the woman in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's guys, look at that, Sam though. Sam McGill Art. What is this? It's watching, seriously. There's some like old trinkets. It's um I think oh, I found another one. Look at that. I think John's searching for dolls. And then there's like little furniture in here. Man, I'm having a hard time focusing. Man. That is a creepy doll. Look at the Yeah, I can't focus on it either. My phone is from 80 Wow. I felt a chill when I first came in up here. So here's some people. This is Solinia Dolores Avila Green. This is Edward Green. And this is Harry Green. Do you get these pictures, lady? Are these births and deaths? Yeah. So, guys, see, these are like all the death certificates. And all the birth certificates from this area. Oh, that is so cool. So how are you guys liking this live stream? I don't do this kind of stuff on this channel often. I was trying to give it some like cool stuff to for you guys to check out. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. We're going to switch over to Presence of the Unknown here pretty soon. Love it. Awesome. So glad that you guys like it so much. I really appreciate it, guys. Yeah, guys, subscribe to Presence of the Unknown. We're going to go live here in about, I don't know, 15 minutes uh, once we finish with this place and go live at the mission. And then we're going to stay live until we get to the cemetery. Make sure you check that out. We are in San Miguel, California, uh, along Highway 101. This area is extremely haunted and is well known for being haunted. Uh, the San Miguel Mission, we've had, what, crazy EVPs? What else, Joe? At the mission? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow. That's I a know. creepy picture. I oh, know, right? It's like that Victoria era pictures where they, like, you don't know if they're alive or dead. Look at that building, guys. It's like a little. You know, it reminds me of, like, the fourth grade mission projects, yeah, but, like, in super that. great detail. Maybe how my son would get that. <laughs> yeah. I actually did San Luis Obispo in fourth grade. Did you? Mm hmm. I can't my, my sister did San Miguel. Did she? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I thought this was a Ouija board. Oh, <laughs> like an old fashioned. That's so bad. Seriously. It kind of looked like it at first, it but it's just a sign. Yeah. yeah. This is actually the old bridge sign. Hey, blessed intuitive spirit, how's it going? So, what else do you guys want to see on the channel? What do you think would be really interesting? Let us know in the comment section. Uh, that second doll reminds me. Oh, I lost your message. Oh, no, I can scroll down. Somebody says that they just picked up a little girl. They removed quick. Oh, you've picked up uh, the energy of a little girl? You know, like right here, I feel something. Like there's like an energy presence right here. And I don't know if it's like surrounding the dolls, but it's not a bad energy. There's just kind of like a cold spot right here. Yeah. 
Behind the gate. Are you talking about this? Keep thinking the mannequins are real. Scares the crap yeah. out of me. Yeah. Did you see the same <laughs> Now I'm afraid of Ouija boards. <laughs> Going near the doll. She's moving real quick. Which doll? Are you talking about this one right here? Um, here. The child. There is a child's energy. She is good. Did you hear that? Oh, there's nothing bad here. At the San Miguel Mission, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah. If you see the rocking chair move, let me know. Yeah, the, the dolls are seriously like... Can I screenshot this real quick? Yes. Guys, I'm so glad you guys got to come with us and see this awesome experience. There's like a, a different atmosphere up here, if that makes sense. Did you see this stuff? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, which one? Oh. Smiling? Dude, I didn't <laughs> see the... I, I, oh, I didn't see that, guys. I seen that. Her teeth are showing smiling. Dude, that is creepy. <laughs> and then look at the three dolls in the bed. Oh, those are, yeah. Oh my god, that does the middle one remind you of the one? It does! It is! It's like the same doll that was at the hotel. Shafter Hotel. The Green Hotel. That's <laughs> crazy. Look at that, guys. <laughs> We're here. Oh, I know. Look how cool that is, guys. The and there's another laughing baby sitting in there. It's a doll. I've never seen a baby with teeth in their mouth. Wow, sad. she <laughs> loves them dolls. Oh, the little girl loves the dolls. That's why they're in here, she said. Uh, there's nothing there. Yes, this is the child's room. Can you make the chair move? That would be pretty wild. You can tell that chair hasn't moved in a long time. No, the other room is where she was first. I don't know. Okay, are you talking about this room right here? Ooh, that mannequin, I swear to God. That place is wild. That's wild right there. Look how realistic that looks. Do you have your EVP? Oh, I have my K2 meter in the car. I should have brought that in. Uh, not, not yet. Not until we really get permission to do a real investigation here. Isn't that mannequin kind of creepy? Hey, Sherry with PWI. How's it going, Sherry? Good to see you. So many great channels here. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thanks for everybody who is joining us. Ray the Fam, Jenny Merseth. We have Kim Fitzgerald, Rock Fam. We have... City Girl Country Heart. We have Sherry from PWI. What's going on, guys? My battery's at 60%, guys. Yeah, there's some energy here, definitely, I think. Then again, I am running Streamlabs, so that could be it. There's some old military uniforms. Oh, that's enough pictures for this. I don't want the camera going there. You gotta be outside too. There's some pictures on the outside. I have the I have the supercharger in my backpack, so all I gotta do is plug it in and it'll recharge it up. So there's the military uniforms. Some more old pictures. This ghost book. Oh, so guys, Look at that. this is the this ghost. Is this is the ghost book. These are images that were shown. This is from this location, right? Yep. 
Okay, guys, so there were some like figures that had been seen here. Dark spots. This is why we gotta do an investigation here. Look at that, there's like a dark spot right there. I'm trying to see if there's anything like super definitive. Yeah, look at that guys, there's like dark energy there. Uh, Tavi Smith, we're going to be hitting 1.1K soon. Awesome, guys. Congratulations. That's huge. So lots of orbs have been reported here, reportedly. Something's like blocking out half that image. Look at that. That's crazy picture right there. There's like an orb that's blocking the screen. So guys, hopefully we can do an investigation here soon. This place looks super awesome. Please do not lean on the glass. That is understandable. Here's some pictures. Look, babe. I took a picture of the shoe. There's an old shoe. Mm-hmm. That's weird. All right, cool. Oh, is it the, on the iPhone? No, it's on the glass. But look at the shoes clear and everything around it is. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Guys, that's crazy. So she took a picture of that shoe and supposedly like it blurred the rest of the image other than the shoe. So maybe there's something with that shoe. Let you guys decide that. So do you guys think we should do this more often? Kind of do like the drive up on my channel and then do the real deal like check out of the investigation on presence of the unknown. Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, so we'll we'll drive back towards the mission. Uh, maybe show you the bells, but then we're going to transition over to Presence of the Unknown. Look at that, guys. This old little clock. Wow. That's so cool. The stamps, <laughs> Oh, wow. One cent. One cent. Look at these. These are like old, like, medicine bottles yeah. or something. Look at that, guys. Some old, like, costume jewelry. I don't know what this is. This feels like, like plastic. Beads. Just beads. Yeah, these yeah. are beads. That's super cool. So the money for uh, the sales go straight the to the mission. Yeah, helps. No. Oh, no? Sorry. That's the mission to here. Yes, sorry. We are a separate entity from the mission. Okay. The, the money for the items that we sell here go towards keeping this adobe together. Gotcha. So the sales go towards the adobe. Maintaining the adobe. Gotcha. Thank you for clarifying that. You're very welcome. I really appreciate it. We've had like an average of like 25 people watching this the entire time okay. we've been exploring, so... They're very, very pleased with the location. And do you want to get me a card? Do you also have a card? Uh, I don't have a card. We operate under the same information. I coincide with him since he's the founder. Uh huh. So, um, but so I run the vlog channel. Okay. Yeah. And, and my name is, is my name is John, and my channel is uh, HSFL. Paranormal. Oh, okay. And I just do like a paranormal vlog. I kind of, I do a lot of music. Okay. So. That would be kind of fun to look that all Absolutely. Up. Thank you, John. No problem. Have a great day, miss. You Thank you so time. much. You also. Pictures. Stop. <laughs> so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that Adobe building. That was really, really cool. I'll make sure I keep this as a keepsake in case we come back. But there is hauntings going on at this adobe. 
Look how large these cactus are. Those are larger than most of the trees around here. I bet there's some like good like prickly pear cactus fruit on those. So again, here's the outside of the adobe. We'll do this more often, guys, if you want it. We'll definitely do this some more. Uh, so here's the wishing well, guys. Yeah, that's a real well. And this is actually a sundial, if anybody knows what that is. This is actually used to tell time, just like a clock. And it's showing like it's... 1... Is it 2 o'clock already? Do you have a... Do you have that card I gave you, Presence of the Unknown? Huh? 2.30? She ran out of cards. She wants one. I don't have any with me. But I gave her a name for the vlog. And uh, maybe just go give her your telephone number. And an email. So yeah. So I was a little off on the time. But it is 2.30. I said 2 o'clock. I was trying to read the sundial. But how cool is that, guys? 2.15. Yeah. It looked like 2.15. So I'm just trying to... I don't know if you can throw pennies into that well. I mean, I'm sure nobody drinks out of it because that water does not look drinkable. Yeah. Wonder how deep that well goes. <laughs> Am I the ring? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I learned my lesson from horror movies not to dump my hand into wells or <laughs> to creepy places and to cracks and walls that your hand can fit into. Yep. That water just looks wrong, man. Oh. Uh, they probably put something in there that'll like erode your skin. <laughs> it will grab you, John. <laughs> that would be hilarious if like somebody like went in there with like a scuba suit for a prank and like somebody walks up to it and you just grab their hand. Look, John, it's just still going down. Wow. Oh, it's deep. <laughs> yeah, it's deep, guys. Quite as deep as the side of them. Wonder what this little building is. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while by the looks of the cobwebs. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are supporting one another in the chat. I hope you guys are having fun today. Yeah, the leprechaun well, yeah. Uh, trying to go back and read some of the comments here. Thanks, John, for the amazing look around. No problem. I'm glad you guys like it. So here's the other little outbuilding. Here's that little train car thing again. Look how cool this is, guys. So glad you guys love this. This is awesome. Hey, can somebody tell me what I'm looking at for likes right now? Hey, Night Owl, how's it going? Hey, Cynthia, can you uh, see how many likes this video's at? And then we're gonna be switching over to HS or to Presence of the Unknown. 24 likes. 
25. 25. With me, with me included, 25. Woo! 25 <laughs> likes, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching this the entire time. I really appreciate it, guys. 26? Wow, awesome. 22 watching. Yeah, thank you, guys. How you guys like this Streamlabs setup? And if anybody's new here, consider subscribing to the channel. It'll light your name up with the lights. And it's super cool. Uh, if you donate to the Streamlabs or my PayPal, it should come up on screen. I'm just not sure. If you'd like to support us with more uh, events going on in the future, you could either subscribe to a me or you could subscribe to Joe's channel as well. The presence of the unknown. No lag, great video. Awesome, that's what I like to hear. There's Cynthia. We're just waiting for Joe, and then we will be switching over here. Twenty-eight likes. Woo, guys! Smash that like button. Mmm. So I kind of like the old Western desert look. Yeah. I mean, there's something about it. it; just looks so cool. And that old train car. Huh? Uh, I don't think so. It says library. See, this is the actual Adobe material right here. A lot of these buildings were hit hard during that earthquake in 1800s. Yeah. That's why. This was built in 1935. 1935. So right during the Great Depression, when people were coming over here from Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, you can see like an old fireplace in there, stuff like that. Liked and tweeted. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really hope you guys like this. I really hope you guys want to see more in the future. We are going to try to do some more stuff coming up here. We've been uh, kind of in a lull spot trying to find locations, but we just decided, like, let's do some history stuff, too. Because so much of the hauntings are, it's a lot more history. And I kind of always wanted to do, like, kind of like an educational thing. So, to can you... Can, uh, to continue with the timeline, in 1895, Fred Tellard family lived in the adobe operating the dairy farm. In 1903, Mr. Alfred Nagrin and his family bought the adobe property. The two children were born in the adobe. So maybe that was the spirit that we were seeing. Yeah. Lillian and Anna. There's James and I took pictures of the Twenty-four people watching. That's awesome, guys! Smash that like button. Seriously, if you like this video and would like to see more, definitely make sure you subscribe to both this channel and Presence of the Unknown. I'd rather you guys go subscribe to Presence of the Unknown right now because we're actually about to go switch over to show you guys the haunted mission. Uh, so in 1923, the the Adobe was sold to Charles Dolores. For a total of, with a total of six acres, plans were to restore it and open it back up to the public. Uh, 1964, it was purchased by San Luis Obispo County Board of Supervisors for the purpose of restoring the museum and information center. Okay. 1968, Friends of the Adobe's Inc. was to form to promote the restoration uh, maintenance and uh, other historical landmarks in the area. And then in 1978, it was opened as a gift shop and opened to the public. So there's a little history about 100 years exactly. Uh, so I hope you guys liked that. That was kind of a little rundown. 
So that's an old like water well. So they used to fill that, I'm assuming, probably with water from the well and use that as a drinking source. Probably hooked up to a pump at one point. Yep, I think that's the pump right there. Yeah. How cool is that, guys? Still waiting on Joe. Don't know where Joe is. Little on Joe. <laughs> I am fascinated with this railroad car. I don't know why. Look how cool this is. I think this was steam powered. So, yeah, because there's a seat. That, I'm assuming, was the steam powered engine. Unless this was like an original crank. But these looked like... This looks like it would go on the rails of the railroad. And they would travel up and down the railroad, possibly. Maybe a maintenance car. I don't know. If you guys know what this is, let me know. Hey, J&H Bricks, how's it going? So awesome of all of you to guys seriously to like stay with me this entire time and check this stuff out. You guys are awesome. Twice in one day. Thank you guys. Guys, please go subscribe to Presence of the Unknown. We are going to go live from that channel here in a few minutes. Once Joe gets done, we're talking to this lady who helped us so graciously. We're talking to her about possibly setting up an, uh, another paranormal investigation in this building right here. And possibly a night investigation at the mission. Which is something we've been wanting to do for a long time without even getting in trouble. So we'd be able to have more access to the land and do a real investigation. Yeah, j &H Briggs. What's up, my friend? I hope you're doing well. We'll make sure we give you a shout out on Presence of the Unknown, too. Guys, please go check that channel out. We have all of our paranormal investigations on that channel. If somebody could post the link for that. There's the old wagon wheel from the other side. So that's where it actually connected to the car. There's some cactus with some like cool looking cactus flower. I'm gonna try to get close without getting nicked. How are you guys like that? Are these softer? No, they're kind of soft. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Except for that. Oh, Don! <laughs> oh. oh my god, dude. Okay, that was a mistake. Ow! Sorry. Just go hard. I'm trying. Ow! I'm trying, I'm trying. Fuck! You should be recording this. Record I this. am. It hurts. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> rule one, guys: do not touch that plant. That hurt really, really, really bad. I'm sorry for dropping the f bomb, but that was probably one of the single most painful things. I was like getting stung by a bee over and over again. Surprisingly, my finger's not bleeding for whatever reason. I guess it like didn't go super deep. But you guys just literally watched me get pricked by a cactus. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure you smash that like button. Ah, oh, no, that won't get demonetized. You have to cuss a little more than that to get demonetized. <laughs> you didn't record the one. Was taking them out. Ah, damn. That hurt so bad. Yeah. Do not shoot anything like that unless you ask permission first because I know. you just told me. Oh yeah. shit. I didn't know. Yeah, that was See, a, that, I, that was kind of a no no. Because <laughs> uh, she she's like, Well, oh, I didn't like it because he didn't tell me at first. He just came up from his camera like this and uh, see I was pointing it I thought I was pointing it down so she but didn't it like that kind yeah. of Yeah. 
Can I, I've straightened it out. Just cool. Hey, I appreciate it. She's gonna try to get us in here. She's looking at the. Cool. She, she took the number and Awesome. So apparently, uh, it was a little bit of a no-no. So I think that's the book Ray was talking to me about. Give me a right here, right here. I want to try to get all three of us. Okay, oh, you two. Oh. I'm trying to get all three of us in. Okay, we're going to do a selfie. You're like, well, you're done. <laughs> so apparently, uh, there's a little bit of a no-no. So I think that's the book Ray was talking about. Hold on, one more time. All right. Yeah, I forgot to ask permission. I wasn't, like, intentionally trying to set, like, uh, do an interview with her. It just kind of happened that way. I didn't mean to get in her like business, but it I just couldn't resist since like I saw that like it was actually on her. I was just gonna ask some questions but not like point it at her, but I intermittently did point it at her. Oh yeah, I told her Trish and Patty because they're from the city. Oh yeah. So guys, we're about to switch over here soon to Presence of the Unknown. Make sure you go subscribe to that channel. We have 18 people still in the house watching this. We're kind of still looking at some of this old relic stuff that's around here. So what do you think, Joe? This place looks like pretty amazing for an investigation. Yeah, it definitely is. That's why I talked to her. Yeah. So, this place, so it'd be, so at one point it was an inn and a tavern. Uh, what was the book that they showed you? I think Ray has the same book he said. I'm not sure, maybe. The Ghosts of California missions oh okay so this is actually just the missions mm -hmm. oh how cool yeah, that's pretty cool that is badass guys let me show Cynthia. Mm -hmm. so it's a different book ray sorry i can't believe you guys got to see me get pricked by a cactus that did not <laughs> feel good as a that was a first time for me and everybody here and thank you, everybody. Thanks, Cynthia, for pulling those out of my finger. <laughs> that was rad. I missed that. John. I missed it. Respect from the homies. <laughs> hey, look at this. Look at that. that is so cool. Wow, I didn't even notice that. That is awesome. I'm grabbing some of these. Oh, like, <laughs> so she Ooh. said go through childbirth. Did you grab something? <laughs> No, no, that it didn't hurt that bad. I'm being super sarcastic. It wasn't actually that bad. It kind of felt like a pinprick. See, like these are the friendly cactus. They don't have any needles, so you can like touch them. And... I don't learn my lesson very easily, guys. See, I won't touch this one because look at all the little hair, sharp little pointy hairs. I kind of want. I actually kind of wanted to see how it felt to get nailed by one of those things. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't be on, in here and drink Can't earthquake. Check this out, you think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at this thing. What is that? Guys, look at that. That right there. Is that an old pump? That's an old... Is it? Is that a heater or is that a pump? I don't know. Huh. They got a nice setup here. Yeah, they do. That's cool. And there's like a little maintenance building right here. It looks like an old adobe brick house. Babe, you can cut it now. I'm gonna save my battery. Okay. So guys, I think that pretty much wraps this up. So you're gonna have to live stream on your phone, I think. Through presence of the unknown? Yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll film with this one. I need to see how I can switch over to... Uh, we can put the gimbal on it. Okay. But I need to see how I can switch over to Presence of the Unknown uh, to this yeah. phone. This thing's battery. Like, yeah. Dude, my battery died. Oh, my battery got killed on How's this, too. Right 
Uh, I'm amazing battery. Hope you guys are enjoying all this goofiness. Yeah, seriously. So way in the background, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, I can zoom on this. What? Okay, way in the background back there are the old mission bells, if you can see that. So I guess, like, you are what you get. You are what you touch, and apparently I'm a prick. No, nah, it was a bad joke. Uh, I think I might be able to. I need to see how I can figure that out. I'll try that and see if it works. <laughs> no, I know. What? I got to do this stuff and look at you. Look stone, dude. <laughs> and then look at, and then I'm look like, at oh, yeah. And then you're like, mm, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, those are family memories, guys. Yeah, we'll keep them. I just want to do nice ones so I can okay. add more to the... Yeah. So that is the H... Uh, that's the I Paranormal Mobile. Oh. You ready? Uh, I think I might be able to. I need to see how I can see. Selfie time, guys. So, here, I'll switch it over on mine, too, so you can see us. Oh. Hello. There we all are. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We are going to go on that investigation. Well, not investigation, but we're going to go tour that building. Hey, Joe, do you see that? That building over there looks abandoned. Yeah, it looked weird that I was blurry. Why am I blurry and you're not? Photobombed. <laughs> <laughs> that funny. Look how beautiful this area is, guys. All this fresh desert. We need uh, pictures of us. <laughs> no, I knock on California a lot. I actually like it here, but... This is important. Okay, guys, so I'm going to try to see if... This is important because that's the contact. I'm going to try to see if we can switch over to Presence of the Unknown for part two of this live stream. Oh, you're going to do it on your phone? I forgot I got the power bank. Yeah, I got Okay, cool. Awesome, man. And I got the gimbal. All right, guys, we're going to go transform over to, or not transform, but uh, we're going to trade spaces. Go over to Presence of the Unknown. do a little video shoot, too, without streaming, though. I guess I could video shoot. And then you guys can stream on presence. Uh, I can video shoot. Huh? I can video shoot. I can video and then I'll put the video on you presence of the unknown. I'll do the professional editing and all that. I mean, I could do you video of you guys not on live. Just do you have a camera with you? I got a bunch. Yeah, I got all so the I can whole, just videotape the whole shebang. You guys. I can videotape you guys. Oh, okay. you mean do I have the camcorder? No. No, but I mean, I can use the cat. Well, whatever. I can. Well, let me see how much more I have in my. We'll just figure it out. I mean, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video shoot though on my camera on my phone though. Okay. So, do you want me to just stay live on mine, and then we'll do a video shoot and put it on presence? Yeah, we're switching. We gotta switch over. I, I gotta. I gotta do. Okay, guys. Well, I guess we'll switch over for presence as the unknown. I need. We need to get some. Yeah, we need to get some watch hours yeah, on watch uh, hours presence of uh, presence of the unknown. The whole purpose of me coming here. Yep. So, guys, we are going to be switching. So, I'll see you guys over there. Make sure you go subscribe to Presence of the Unknown. I'll see you over there. Okay.